What did we give this crowd? And why haven't we been giving to the crowds for the last 13 fucking years? But, no, that's a wonderful, thank you. I, th I think I know why you're happy. It's spring, it's the first day of spring. Or as we say here in California, the last day of hope for rain, we're screwed. That's what we... <laughs> oh, that's a tough one. Uh, but look, all the news is from that other desert in the world, the Middle East. A lot of news out of there this week. Shocking election in Israel. You saw that? Yeah. Netanyahu has returned to power. And the day before... <laughs> <laughs> the day before the election, he said, there will never be a Palestinian state on my watch. And the day after the election, he said, I'd like to see a two-state solution. <laughs> It was such an amazing 180. Mitt Romney went, wow, that guy's good. That, <laughs> that is a... Now, of course, many people <clears throat> point out that a one-state solution for Israel is very dangerous, because this is a country, after all, uh, where the Arabs vote, and it is almost half Arab. And they asked Netanyahu today, what about that? Did they have any message for Israeli Jews? And he said, yeah, keep fucking. <laughs> Get in there, man. <laughs> now, uh, the Republicans are mad at President Obama because he did not call Prime Minister Netanyahu right away. He did, finally, the other day. And he said that uh, we're going to have to reassess our options with Israel. <laughs> You're right. We're going to stop, stop dating Israel, and, and we're going we're gonna to get together with Syria now. <laughs> That's going to be our new girlfriend. I mean, could we have a little perspective? Is anyone here up for a little perspective on this? Yeah. Whole Oh, great, because this week in Saudi Arabia, they sentenced a woman to 70 lashes, not tongue lashes, actual lashes, for the crime of arguing with a man. And ISIS took a break from throwing gay people off the roof and burning pilots alive and beheading people to blow up two mosques in Yemen and a museum in Tunisia. And I have to tell you, when I heard that they blew up a museum, my first thought was, thank God, no Americans were hurt. If it was the buffet at a water slide, yes, it would have been a disaster here in America. But... Meanwhile, John Boehner has announced that he will be visiting Israel. He will be traveling under his Secret Service nickname, Agent Orange. And, uh... <laughs> and I... <laughs> oh, I'm looking forward to that trip. I would just like to say to the Israelis, if you think you've heard wailing at the Wailing Wall, Wait till old super soaker uh, has a good cry when he shit faced there. That's going to be something. Boehner refers to Israel as the land of milk and Kahlua. He's. Oh, he's a. He's a... <laughs> oh, another. Another tough week for Republicans. Ah, oh, it pains me. But. Uh... <laughs> They lost one of their rising stars. In Illinois Congressman Aaron Schock had to resign. Oh, there's Aaron, yes, there. Ooh, look at that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Isn't that what you want your congressman to do? Work on his abs, yeah. Uh, but he had to resign because apparently he was spending taxpayer money like it's going out of style. And speaking of going out of style, he literally spent $100,000 of taxpayer money to redecorate his office in the style of Downton Abbey. <laughs> and he once took a private jet on taxpayer dollars to see a Bears game. And that's always been the word around Washington about Aaron Schock. He loves the Bears. So, uh, what, did, what, what did I say? <laughs> But apparently the last row was that he asked to be reimbursed by, again, the government for taxpayer money for 170,000 miles on his car. But when he sold his car, it only had 80,000 miles on it. <laughs> and when they confronted him with this, he just went, oh, I resign. <laughs> that was it. Seriously. And today, Robert Durst said, dude, I cut a guy into 10 pieces and got off. You can't explain 90,000 miles on your car? Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man, HBO caught a murder atop that Netflix. <laughs> did you... <laughs> did you watch that documentary? I mean, this was 
fascinating stuff. Their ability to be able to capture Durst in those rare moments when he wasn't killing someone. Uh, <laughs> And, uh, and they arrested him this week in New Orleans, not a minute too soon. It looks like he was planning to flee. He had with him 40 grand in cash, a gun, and five ounces of pot. So it was, he was either gonna make a run for it or produce a hip-hop album. I don't know. Uh, but... As I'm sure you know, one of the victims was here in L.A., so the trial will be... Uh, here, another celebrity trial here in L.A., which means he will definitely get off. Uh, <laughs> even though, as you saw, they have him on a hot mic saying the words, there it is, I'm caught. <laughs> what did I do? Killed them all, of course. <laughs> but his, already, his lawyers are already explaining this away. They said when he said, you're caught, he was in the urinal. He meant his dick in the zipper. <laughs> He's, you're caught. I killed them all. The cigarette butt's in there. I killed them all. That's... And finally, did you see this? I thought this was really interesting. Starbucks, the CEO of Starbucks initiated this. says he wants his, his baristas there to initiate a conversation about race with the customers. And I think, bravo. But please, not before I've had my coffee. <laughs>